So when I bought my Samsung Galaxy S10, I was looking at a bunch of other accessories on Samsung's website, and the one that caught my eye the most was this uh, Galaxy Watch Active. Now this is a very um, entry level model for a smartwatch. It starts at $200, and it is a f it has a 40 millimeter screen, uh, but it is circular. However, the one thing is that despite being circular, it doesn't mean that there's a uh, you know, the Moto 360 I had before this, that was my uh, last circular smartwatch. It had a little cutout here at the bottom of the screen. This is a completely round screen. It does have a little bit of a bezel around it, but uh, with the black screen, it should not be noticeable. Uh, the best part about this watch, I think, has to be that it's uh, only $200, and it is pretty lightweight. Uh, so for people who don't want heavy watches, this is very interesting. Uh, it does have auto fitness tracking, and it is swim ready as well, so it is water resistant. Uh, so you can go swimming with this and uh, use it to consistently track your health data. Now, the thing with the Galaxy Watch Active is that it is still, I think, that when I when I first ordered this, I was like, you know, worst case, this is not as good, but I'll, I'll get to use it with my Samsung. Uh, what I didn't anticipate was how good the Galaxy Watch is. So I saw that in store, and that was just a little bit more impressive, and it's only $100 more. So I want to see if that $100 discount is really worth it or if i should just get the uh, more expensive one so this comes in four colors black silver rose gold and green i have the black one uh it does run uh tizen os it doesn't run android uh it is samsung's own version but it will work with all android phones as long as you have the samsung uh wear app on your uh, android phone it does have a uh exynos 9110 processor inside so I'm expecting performance to be fairly decent. Now this is, uh, I don't believe there's a GPS model that comes with this. Uh, by GPS, I mean a cellular model uh, that comes with this. This is only Bluetooth, so it will only work when it is paired to your phone uh, for getting notifications and information like that. So another interesting thing I just want to let you know is that uh, this box is actually really tiny. Uh, here's my fingers next to it. And to give you a better perspective, here are the AirPods. So the AirPod box, if anybody's seen them, they're not that big. And this is smaller than the AirPods box, which is pretty interesting. Um, and I just don't know why. But uh, this kind of goes to show that this is a more cost-efficient variant of the uh, Samsung Galaxy Active. Uh, nothing much on the box. The uh, There is this, you know, really cool color-shifting uh, uh, watch uh, embossment on the front but besides that really not much so let me open it up and see what it's all about so two bits of tape on the top and the bottom and the box is a lift style box so it's just gonna hopefully drop out but I don't know let's see there we go all right so uh, it sits right in there and to be very honest with you it looks a little bit um, I don't know it just doesn't look impressive for some reason, I don't know. It might just be my thinking, but all right. So there's this weight in the middle. All right, it's not a weight. It might actually just be the charger, and it is. It is the charger, right here. So it has it comes with a charger very similar to what you'd see with an Apple Watch. Uh, there is no dock. Uh, the dock, I'm gonna guess, is separately sold. But uh, yeah, just the USB is pretty there, and then. Here's the watch. So uh, there are these, uh, oh, here's a extra strap, it seems like. So there's that. And here's the watch itself. It is pretty small. It's not that big. However, it does look like, um, it does feel very lightweight. Let me pull this off the strap. All right, let me put it to the side. Uh, the buckle is pretty simple. And as far as I know, there is no replacement band. So if you wanted to use it like, you want to put different bands on it like you can on the apple watch that's just not going to be possible so this is more and more to me just feeling like a watch that's mostly a fitness tracker you don't really use it as a full-blown watch you can't really customize it to your needs uh, and here's my uh apple watch right next to it and as you can see it does seem significantly like just smaller in terms of size and usability because the screen uh, the entire watch face is smaller than the screen of the uh, Galaxy Watch Active. Now that's not really an issue, but if you're used to the larger sizes, that might be an issue. So let me hold down the top button. Let's see if it powers on for us. And as for the box, there just isn't, doesn't seem to be much more in it. 
uh, the bottom is empty. That's about it. So that's all you get, the watch and the charger and an extra strap. So let's see if it powers on for me here. I'm going to hold that button down on the top. Nothing. Let me see if the bottom button does something. There we go. Bottom button did it. So Galaxy Watch active. So just for a better comparison, let me just put this right next to the Apple Watch while it's on so you guys can kind of see what it's like right next to each other. So, you know, a lot of people say that they don't like the square shape of these smart watches, but honestly, I've gotten used to them and I prefer it now more. So let's go. All right, swipe up. Galaxy Watch active, get it started. All right, immediately what, the one thing I'm noticing is from being used to uh, the uh, crown on the Apple Watch, I actually have to scroll physically with my fingers. Whereas the Apple Watch, I just use the digital crown to kind of scroll through things, which has become more of a habit and it's just a lot easier and you don't cover the screen while you're at it. So let me bring my uh, S10 right next to this. Oh, oh no, what did I just do? So I unlock my phone and immediately, oh, there we go. All right, so Galaxy Watch Active DC25. So that, I guess that's just the device code. I'm going to hit connect. So it says connecting to server. Galaxy wearable. All right. Yes, I will allow. Yes, yes, yes. All right, let's pair up. Let's see what it does. Wow, okay, that's... Yikes, that's very incessant. Connect, start. All right. There we go. All right, so it's quickly going through the setup process. That's pretty quick. Slow down towards the end. All right. Okay, so while you're pairing, take a moment to get familiar with your watch. How to use. So home screen, your main screen. Swipe left to show different widgets. Swipe right to show notifications. All right, so that makes sense. Next. Back key. Okay, so the top is the back key, and the bottom is the home key. That's a little bit confusing. Why well, don't have the uh, more important button on top, but who knows? All right, get the best of your heart rate results. So where your fingers width above your heart. All right, and notifications. Get notifications on your watch so you can check them more easily. Notification settings, and I'm gonna. All right, so it's turned on. Done. Watch paired. All right, there we go. Agree. Allow, I guess. Yeah, so a lot of things to allow. No, I'm not going to agree to all. I don't want to agree to any of these. I don't. Right, so check for backups. Skip for now since I don't have any backups. All right, I think that's done. So the watch is loaded up around here. Swipe left for. All right, so daily activity. Go right to see the watch face. All right. So that's, that's about it. So it shows up on my watch. Uh, it's showing me some information here. I'm sorry about my phone. Let me just put that in silent really quick. Uh, you guys can see about watch. It has 82% battery, 2.5 GB of 4 GB free. So it looks like it has a 4 GB uh, storage here and it shows 768 MB of RAM. So it has like three fourths of a gig of RAM. That's a very odd number of RAM to have. Why not just have one gig of RAM and you know call it a day, but who knows, all right, Samsung Health, interesting. So you can install Samsung Pay, also you can install. So it's very similar to what the Apple Watch kind of will look like when you get it all set up, just a bunch of settings for it. Let's look at the watch now and see, all right, app shortcut, interesting. So swipe right to see more stuff. All right, so I can quickly, I'm just gonna slide through all these. Um, watch face. All right, so I'm on the watch face. All right, notifications. Back to go back. Wow. Home key to find your apps, recent apps. And quick panel where it shows the information. Oh, all right. That's it. Got it. All right. So that was a quick setup process where it shows you the functions of the watch and how to use it. So the date, your activity, I guess you can select what kind of workout you're going to do from that. Interesting. Allow Samsung. All right. Yes, I will allow that. And then uh, heart rate. 
and you have steps as well. Very interesting. That's also, that's cool. So, you know, it seems to be a very interesting little design and uh, it seems to be very focused towards activity. All right, I'm already getting notifications uh, on this, but totally very cool uh, look to the watch. It's very circular. Uh, for people with smaller wrists, you're gonna like this for sure. Let me just put it on my wrist to show you guys. All right, so this is what the watch looks like on my hand. Uh, looks a little bit small from what I'm used to, but not bad at all. And uh, as you guys can see, notifications pop in, popping up all over the place, which is one of the best features of these smartwatches. You can just get notifications uh, going, and it's pretty cool, very useful and helpful. Uh, and I'm gonna keep uh, keep you guys updated about this. You know what I learned, how it is, the experience with it, especially compared to my Apple Watch. What I might do is I might just wear both of these watches, one on each hand, uh, look like a crazy person for a little bit, but get a little bit of perspective on what both of these watches uh, look like and feel like throughout the day. Let me know if you guys have any questions about the Galaxy Watch Active. I'm going to try to answer as many as I can in the next upcoming videos. And if you haven't already, guys, I would really appreciate it if you followed me on social media. I have all the links down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.